Heavy rains and flash flooding has Metropolitan Mosquito Control on high alert. Uh, crews are out in full force trying to control the hatching larvae all across the metro. Our Reg Chapman has more on what's being done to make sure mosquitoes don't ruin your summer fun. One, two, three, go. <laughs> there is nothing more fun during the summer than day camp. Really fast? Okay. Uh, lots of outdoor activities from uh, archery, slingshots, climbing, uh, arts and crafts, and uh, swimming, canoeing, kayaking. Everything outdoors. YMCA Streefland Day Camp in Lakeville is 65 acres of prime real estate converted into a young person's playground. Go, go, go. 350 go, go. kids from 4 to 14 find refuge here from schoolwork. Enjoying the fool of outdoor adventure is the only thing on the agenda. We want to set the kids up for success for the week, so we want them to be safer in the outdoors. So we're asking them to uh, bring lots of snacks, we're asking them to bring sunscreen. Bug spray um, and label everything. Camp Streetland is covered under the Metropolitan Mosquito Control District, meaning this area is sprayed to help control the mosquito population. Kids don't have problems with bites because camp staff make sure they are prepared. Parents are told to pack mosquito repellent as an added layer of protection from Minnesota's unofficial state bird. We want them to uh, be able to reapply that during the day. Um, after swimming and other activities so we can uh, stay safe. Mosquito Control has six helicopters up in the air, treating areas where it's believed mosquito larvae may be incubating. The warmer the water, the faster larvae hatch. Mosquito Control is trying to stay one step ahead. Experts say heavy rains over the weekend means new mosquitoes could be out in the next five to four days. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. Mosquito Control says you can better protect yourself from mosquitoes by getting rid of any standing water in your yard. The bugs, of course, are most active early in the morning and at dusk.